So shall it be. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Adonai, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. You are so good, Almighty God. Almighty Father. See, this is midnight hour. It's an hour that a lot of people, they have slept off. Even people that planned that they will do Fiji, they have slept off. Even people that said, I will wake up, they have slept off. So to be awake is a miracle. And to now be in God's presence is a greater miracle. So there is nothing like what is happening to us. And I want us to maximize it. And God will answer us by fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the grace to be awake. 
and to be in your presence. And to be in your presence. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Father, we thank you. Father, you are what? Father, you are awesome. 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 Father, you are wonderful. Father, you are glorious. Father, you are powerful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Yes. Yes. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, I thank you, I thank you for you. all that you are going to do for me for all tonight. For Open your mouth and give him praise. Lord, I thank you. 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 Blessed be your holy name. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. We have said it partly that we slept, we woke up by ourselves. It's a miracle. I want us to say, Father, Father I thank you I for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are worthy for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Malika Polia Masan. Marobo Koso Polika Polima Sandaba. Lord, we are great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Maseri Kapolia Masanda, Marobo Koso Kole Kapole Masanda. Lord, we thank you. 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 Lord, we give you praise. Marobo Koso Kole Kapolia, Marapa Kasa Kale Masanda, Maseri Kapolia Masanda. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I, thank I thank you for preserving my going out and my coming in. Lift up your voice and pray. Maseri Kapoli Masan, Maropo Kose Kele Masan, Rapa Kasa Kale Kapoli. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Preserving my going out. Am I coming in? I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the provision of food, of shelter, of clothing. Shall we lift up our voice and begin to thank God? Father, I thank you for the provision of food, of shelter, and clothing. Father, I thank you for the provision of food, of shelter, and of clothing. Father, I thank you for the provision of food, of shelter, and of clothing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. In Jesus' name we pray. My prayer is that nobody will come here in vain. And all that are already connected at this midnight, it's not by accident that you can wake up to connect. It's not an accident. There is something you are looking for. My prayer is that you will get it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Father, as we go deeper, Give us access to your presence. Amen. Lord, give us access to your presence. Amen. And the Bible says, in your presence, there is fullness of joy. Yes. Therefore, everything that can make our joy to be full, Lord, even as we assess your presence by your mercy tonight, let our joy be full. Amen. Those things that will happen to us, and we will laugh and laugh and dance and dance. And we will dance around you and bless your holy name. Father, let it happen to us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Our powers that have been deflating our joy by enemies, let them be arrested. Amen. Let them be disgraced. Amen. This is mountain of the Lord, and we are on a mercy grant. Lord, tonight, let your mercy speak for us. Amen. 
Nothing is an accident. Nothing just happens when it comes to God. God has planned everything. God has planned everything from the foundation of the earth. And everything work together according to his plan. Yes. That is the almighty God. Yes. Therefore, Lord, tonight, by your mercy, because of the mercy ground we are, because of the covenant of this land, of this ground, let everything that is presently working now work together for our good. Amen. Thank you because you have answered. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number one, I want to encourage those online. Remain connected. Don't sit down. Don't sleep. Don't rest your back. Be at a lot because the Lord is going to do something for you. And we that we are here live, let us be encouraged. I have a strong leading to do one-on-one -on -one with people. So after our prayer, after we are closed online, I'll do one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to give everybody at least one prayer point each as I listen to your case. Amen. And surely you will have testimony. Amen. Let me tell you something. The joy of a prayer warrior is answered. The joy of a prayer warrior is what? Without answer, if you are just praying, praying, and there is no answer, the Bible says it makes the bone to dry. It makes the bone to dry. And there are three dimensions of answer. You must get one of them. Am I communicating? Number one. Yes. No. Wait. Are you with me? Those are the three answers. And if we don't get any of these three, it's very frustrating and boring. Some people just conclude without knowledge. And they pray. They stand up. They go. They say God has answered. How did you know? Am I communicating? How did you know God has answered you? They say by faith. How? With faith. Faith without work is dead. How did Abraham know? So there are three dimensions. How did you know? There must be something you hear. And if you didn't hear anything, you didn't hear yes, you didn't hear no, you didn't hear wait. And won't keep expecting. So my prayer for every one of us tonight is God will give us a good answer. Amen. I can't hear a better amen. amen. God will give us expected answer. Amen. God will give us an answer of truth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not connect in vain. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody is under the sound of my voice. You are not here. You are online. You saw a red cloth in your dream. Whether you are wearing it or you saw you saw it, but the hand of the Lord is fighting for you now. Amen. Every affliction introduced into your life is turned into pieces. Amen. Your affliction is turned into pieces. Amen. And the Lord set you free. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It is settled. Amen. We have little time, but we are going to pray specifically receiving word from God and praying them and trusting God that his mercy will work for us. So we could help ourselves in the next 10 minutes. We can sit down. We can remain standing. The up, if not containing, we can use all the, the side trench and make ourselves comfortable. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let's look at the word of God very quickly. The book of Salmon. That's what I received as I was joining you to share with you. First Salmon, chapter one. First Samuel chapter one. I'm going to verse eighteen. First Samuel chapter one, verse eighteen. But we are going to verse 18. But let us look at the two verses before that 18 and read it. Somebody with evangelic swap voice. Count not thy handmaid, for a daughter of Bela, for out of the abundance of my complaints and grief. That's verse what? Okay, go on. Have I spoken? 
verse 17. Then he answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee the petition that thou hast asked of him. Verse 18. And she said, Let thy hand me find grace in thy sight. So the woman went out away and did it, and her continent was no more sad. Praise the name of the Lord. We saw this woman came to ask from the Lord. And he met a prophet. And a prophet misunderstood him. But he remained humble. He was not offended. The prophet offended her, but she was not offended. When you come to the presence of God, the first thing you must avoid is you must receive. You will be what? You will receive. I'm telling you. You will receive. You will have results. It will not be long. God sees my heart. Because why should you be with the Lord? The God of heaven and the earth. And I have your answers. And I've told you that there are three dimension answer of answers to our prayers. Number one is you can get no. 
Number two, you can get yes. Number three, you can get wait. For you to get this theory, because all of them are wonderful, it, it shows that God is with you. It shows that God has answered your prayer. I've noticed that when people call you and request for help, as long as you tell them to wait, what happened? They disturb you more. But the moment you tell them no, what happened? They stop. Yes. Because they are comfortable. They are comforted. They have gotten a result. So they know what next to do. Hallelujah. Are we still together? So number two, believe his prophet that is ministering at the altar. Believe his prophet that is ministering before him at his altar. Who did you come to seek here? Answer me now. Those who are connected, who are you connecting with? You are connecting unto God. You have come to connect with me to seek the face of God, not my face. But who am I representing? Answer now. Amen. Amen. I'm representing God. God, place me here. Can I shock you tonight? Is Are we still awake? Yes. Tomorrow you may come. Amen. Yes. Uh, peace, come over. Are we awake? Ah, yes. uh, you come. You expected to see me. This is the person you see at the altar. And he's saying, stand up. God will answer your prayer. He say, which prayer? Who is talking? Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me? Then you feel like, ah, I know this one. Is this not pastor's daughter? When did he now become, she become a priest? I, I have wasted my time to come here today. Ah, I would have slept at home. Oh. I would have found out whether that is around or big mistake. Do you understand? If you can see beyond me or her, you will get answer. Go back. The more, the little stature you see before the altar, the stronger your face will grow in connecting that God.
we pray. Amen. Those online, thank you for remaining connected and thank God that you are still there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We will pray that prayer together. Then I will complete what I'm saying before we pray. There is a key. Once you have key, you will open door. Am I communicating? Once you have key, if you like, let it be iron door. You will open it with ease. But it's when you don't have key that everybody will know you want to enter somewhere. It's when you don't have key that you'll be begging, please come and help me. Come and help me to open this door. That you will be sweating. But when you have key, you open nobody knows. In fact, there are some key, there are some door. As you go close, it opens automatically. So pray that prayer one more time, then I complete the revelation I want to give you tonight. Say, add heaven. Ah, Closed heavens. Close. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? By, the of God. By the message of God. Is somebody praying? Yes. <laughs> Some heavens are hard. Some has been closed. And if they don't open, forget it. There will be no rain. There will be no rain. And that is why you need to take this night serious. Because this is your night. God answers prayers. I know what I'm saying. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Say, add heavens. Close heavens. By the message of God. Open for me tonight. Open your mind and pray in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 my rabba can see that. Lem Rabuda, Seri Capolia. My rubba can see that. My fulia, my son. My rubba can see that. Le Roma can see that. My Let our heavens close. Open, 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 open. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying to the life of somebody. I receive. The testimony that will testify himself in your life. Hey. You won't open your mouth. When they see you, they know something has happened. Uh -huh. How many of us are ready? Yes, sir. See, the Lord is opening my eyes. I see this mercy altar transform. Amen. And that's a lot of millions, yes. thousands, millions, yes. yes. And and I'm receiving in my spirit that those that God will use is here. You are with me. That's why I want to make that prophecy. The testimony that testifies itself. The testimony that needs no, no struggle to describe it. The testimony that cannot be hidden. That is too big to hide. Kale Maruba Kaseka. Because you are under this ministration tonight. Receive by fire. Whether you are online or on site. We are one. We are one together on this mercy altar mercy seat. I profess that the Amen. testimony, that testimony, that when people see you, you don't need to say it. It's the testimony that will be speaking for you. Amen. The testimony that will speak for you. Amen. You won't need to say, come and see what the Lord has done. They will see it. Amen. People will see you and the testimony will be speaking. Amen. Amen. By the message of God and by the blood of Jesus. Amen. The testimony that itself in your life. Receive by fire. Amen. Receive by fire. Amen. Receive by fire. Amen. Receive wherever you are. Amen. Whether you are online, whether you are on site, whether you are in your room listening to us, 
receive by fire. Amen. It is done. Amen. It is sealed. Amen. It is sealed. Amen. It is locked. Amen. Yes. We will laugh. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we are still talking on helping people to receive. So number one is don't don't be offended. Stay unoffended. Maybe it's Osha that will offend you. Maybe it's the person sitting beside you that the way we sit, the way we look at you, and you are just offended. You are in a hurry, you want to leave. It may be where you want to charge your phone, they will offend. It may be you may like to sit in the front, and the person will say, No, you must sit here. And you move like this, you will move. You move like this, you will move. Don't be offended. You may expect it to be recognized, and they did not recognize you. What, what, can, rec what can recognition of man do? If God is not behind, am I talking to somebody? Yes. I beg you, stay on. Then number two, anyone on the altar? Hey, <laughs> should I say it again? Yes. Uh, I I know it's it is important that you can enjoy someone's ministration and be used to him by the reasons of past experience. Maybe he has ministered before and something happened. But you expected to see him and you did not see him. You saw another person. Don't struggle. It's not the person, it's God. In as much as it's the altar of God. Are you hearing me? Believe whatever he says. Others may be sleeping. But that person on the altar, it may be opening prayer. He's just going to do two minutes. And they say, you never suffer. You say, who is he talking to? It's God talking. Praise the Lord. Amen. We will not die mysterious. If we will not be fall off. If we will not be fall off. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's number two. Are we, are we marking it? Yes, sir. Thirdly. Your containers must be good. Some people, when you see them, you know something is wrong with them. Their containers is always sad. They always look sorrowful. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says, and she went home. And her container changed. She be we read it together. I hope we all heard it. Second, uh, first Samuel chapter two, from where? From verse sixteen to what? His content has changed. Everything changed. This is the person that has been mocked by Pelina. Pelina. This is somebody that has been mocked by people, and. She was full of sorrow when she came to church. But she returned home full of joy. She came to God's presence full of sorrow. How can you come to God's presence with sorrow? And you went back home with sorrow. It means you did not get answer. Don't deceive yourself. Amen. Yeah. You should be happy. You should be happy. Your content has to change. Not that Samuel has come that time. Not that she has been pregnant, but her continence has changed. Amen. It is not until it happened that it has happened. It is when you see it happen that it happens. She believed. She believed that man of God. She believed. Despite rumor that might have been going on about Eli that time, that all, all his sons, they are fornicators, adulterers, and thieves that this man does not know how to train his children she didn't look at all that she believed because the person is standing at the altar of god 
I'm encouraging you. This year we go more on outreaches. We will do more online. Anytime you call me, God is here. You better believe. You better believe. Listen, if you don't believe, you will just be going from one place to another. That is the reward you get. I pray that will not be our lot. Amen. When will you be more important? When will you be more relevant? It is when you do what I'm telling you to do. Praise the Lord. So number one, be offended. Number two, believe the minister ministry. Believe the ministry minister. And number three, let your containers change for good. Let your containers be good. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Rejoice. You that you are online hearing me, whether you are alone or you are on a second mountain, be happy whether you are in your room. Change your containers. Be happy. Don't let the enemy control your joy. Be happy. God has answered your prayer. Something great will happen to you. Amen. Doors will open for you. Amen. That money will come. Amen. That husband will come. Amen. That baby will come. Amen. That job will come. Amen. Nothing will stop it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating? And the final one. Let's go to Samuel. First Samuel chapter 3. Let me round up with four so that we can pray. Then I can do one on one with people. Hallelujah. Amen. First Samuel chapter 3. Are we there? Chapter 3, verse 1. Can somebody read for me? And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before his life. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Uh -huh. There was no open vision. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. This child ministered unto the Lord. This child ministered unto who? Unto the Lord. A child ministered unto the Lord. He didn't minister to Eli. A minister before Eli unto the Lord. Which means the Holy Spirit recognized something in the life of Samuel that many people have missed today. Amen. Samuel was a child, but he has known the Lord. So everything they asked him to do, he was doing it unto the Lord. Am I communicating? Though physically it was before Eli, but in his heart he was serving the Lord. He was singing to the Lord. He was praying to the Lord. Amen. He was calling upon the Lord. He was calling upon the Lord. I want you to get to that point today. That whatever you do in the presence of God, do it as a child unto the Lord. Do it like a child as unto the Lord. Do it like a child unto the Lord. There are so many things I can put together there, but there is no time. But let me briefly say it. The first thing you need to notice is the child. The child. Jesus said, except you be like this child. He said the kingdom of God is like these children. Child does no doubt. They don't fear. They don't care. They just declare what they want. 
Amen. Child's heart are soft. They don't keep malice. They don't desire vengeance. Anything you do to a child, they will tell you, I will tell my daddy for you. I will tell my mommy for you. They have someone who fight for them. They don't expect to fight for themselves. Am I communicating? They don't keep grudges and they don't seek vengeance. Yes. They don't care about their own safety. They just freely move on. They have faith. That's a child. So you have to minister unto the Lord like a child. No doubt, no hindrance, no fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But my emphasis is that he ministered unto the I don't know how else I can describe that except I share this, my humble testimony with you. I think that's the best way I can help somebody to understand what I meant. Are we still together or you are sleeping? Are we awake? Yes, sir. This, my experience, will help you to understand how to minister unto the Lord. So you will now take that experience and, and attend it Attach it to every area of your life whenever you are in God's presence. Amen. Somebody can be in this room and say, Lord Jesus, surprise me. Surprise me. Malika Polia, Ragadaba, Ezekiel Lebodo. Oh Lord, do a new thing in my life. And pray like that. And everybody knew he prayed, but heavens did not see that he has prayed. What could have happened? Let me explain to you. Many years ago, when I was a young minister, there was a crusade in our church. And our general overseer is to be the one to come and minister. That was a great honor that is coming to our branch to minister. So the whole church was involved. So I was among the selected prayer warriors, intercessors, to pray for the success of the crusade. So we did shame programs, I think for about 72 hours. That's three days. We were praying every three, three hours. We were in the presence of God. No net, no bed. We were fasting. We fasted. They asked that they would need money, we saw. Let me not say we now. I fasted with others among that group, few groups. I also saw, we also put the church in order. We did all that we should do. And finally, the crusade date came. And to the glory of God, the man of God came. Am I communicating? Yes. When he came, the whole church was happy that someone carried God's presence around and he mouth the pulpit. But shortly before, I think before he mouth the pulpit, or as soon as he mouth the pulpit, where I was doing my work outside the church, some elderly minister came to me. He said, you know, our Jew is the one ministering. And we don't want people that is sitting on the front row, not to be people who can pray very well. So they selected me among people that will stand in the front row so that when they are praying, you will know that this church have prayer people that can pray. So I was among the few selected ones. And we prayed. And we prayed and they shared the grace and the crusade was over. And the next Sunday, people started testifying. The whole week, people started testifying. The next Sunday, the upper one, people started testifying when Gio came. He said this, he said that, he said, ah, what of my own testimony? Where is my own I fasted 72 hours, shame prayers, mosquito bites me. I sow seed. I walk. 
I lost weight, I lost money, I lost time. Where is my own testimony? Where I was bombarding heaven, questioning the Lord, the angel tapped my shoulder. He said, you didn't pray to God in that crusade. You pray to your Jew. And he opened my eyes to where I was standing in the gate. As the people come to call me, as Amma was telling me, as I enter, and where I sat, as I was praying, he played it for me, a review. The angel played everything for me. I left. I was weak. I did not minister unto the Lord. Daddy. I didn't get it. But thank God that God told me. I would not have learned. You would not have known today also. So I became more different and more bold. I've learned my lesson. You think it's easy, 72 hours prayer, every 33 hours. We, are, we hardly have a break of 30 minutes before we start another one. We could not do anything. But one person used his ignorance to affect me because I was also ignorant. I should have told him no. I should have corrected that impression. Even if I didn't confront him, I should have known him that, Lord, I'm only obeying them more. But I'm here to pray unto you. But I didn't know. And in the court of law, ignorance is not a... We saw this guy that was, that is a male turning himself to woman. We saw what happened to him. He said he was ignorant. He said, yes, but you are good, ignorant, scapegoat. Yes, he was used as a scapegoat, ignorant. He's going to spend six months. They made sure that they didn't accept fine because they want to teach him a lesson. And God loves him because now he has been saying he's a man and not a female. Thank God for that problem. Amen. He now remember is a man. So what am I saying? Four things I've taught you tonight. Please never forget. Number one, stay on. People will offend you. Oh. Sometimes I may even be the one and I don't know. You thought that I have only me. I've cleaned all the church. I sweep. And as I was coming, you are even greeting me. I didn't answer. Maybe I didn't know. Maybe me too, as I was coming, I'm already praying. And I didn't see, ah, you say with all these things, is it not a waste of time that I'm doing it? What, what is this rubbish? It could be one of our ministers that will offend you. It could be one of my family that will, it could be the gate man that will offend you. It could be somebody you didn't know that he or she too came that will offend you. You may expect to see the, the senior man of God and you didn't see him. And you, you, you close your door of faith. Or you came sad, you went back sad. What was the difference? And finally, you did not minister unto the Lord. Amen. The husband that is here can testify. If you are husband and you are sitting down, Amen. Brother uh, bra Friday, you are sitting down. You have, at least you have like 20,000. You are sitting down among men and your wife is coming. I went to the man beside you and said, please, I need money. Give me 1,000. How will you feel? Eh? You are going to be angry. Even if you don't have the money, you still expect her to come and tell you then you will now go and help her to look for that money. You will prefer to be the one begging for her than for her begging another in your eyes. Am I right? Yes. That's the truth. That is how it is when we don't minister unto the Lord. We make God less important and he's not happy with it. 
So this is a lie, jumping up and down, jumping up and down, jumping up and down for the Lord. But people thought it was a lie. He was only doing what Eli asked him to do, but he was doing that unto the Lord. Let us rise up now. He ministered unto the Lord. He prayed unto the Lord. He sang unto the Lord. He did usher unto the Lord. Everything he did, he did. Though he was not doing what he likes, the Bible said before he lied, but yet he was doing it unto the Lord. Get it, please. Get it, please. I'll be having results in my journey. This is the secret. Amen. Amen. These are the secrets. In the church that time, they told us, men, women, address yourself as sisters and brothers. Are you following me? So we call ourselves brother, sister, brother, and the one that are elderly. We call them daddy, mommy. And as if I was the smallest, and I know I'm not the smallest. I will call them brother. They will call me Ola. I should have been offended, but I overlooked it. But I didn't, because of that, change and be calling them names. That do you think you are older than me? And it was not long if they are ministering. If I move, people fall before I touch them. If I move, if I look at people, they fall. So. These are still small, small boy calling me Olana. Big, big, rich people in church started calling me as a saint pastor. Yeah. God gave me a bigger name. And I'm not yet even a pastor. But God put an anointing that is bigger than, than what they can think. So they started struggling. Because I refuse to be offended. I refuse to be offended. People will offend you whether intentionally or ignorantly. Don't be offended. And anybody, any ministry minister, minister, if I see there anybody ministering, I connect. When I'm in my office there, I connect from opening prayer to the end. I connect till I get there. Because I know that they are not the one there. It's God in their life. And if you see that it's God speaking through that minister, you will receive. Others will still be playing. And you have already gone up justify. Are we hearing? Yes, sir. Let's grow up, please. Let's grow up. There is no time. How many years do you want to pray for room and parlor? How many years do you want to pray to get husband? Are you getting younger? That you should not be smart to understand how this thing works. Every key has its rule. Some key is still the time you turn it before the door will open. If you turn it twice, it will still not open. Though it's the key. So what is happening? But this is the key that they used yesterday. Yes, you didn't turn it five times. You didn't know. And that is not an excuse. The dog will still be looking at you. Some, you have to turn it to the left. Some, you have to turn it to the right. So I'm telling you the truth of the word of God. Amen. And we all have our keys. And we need to understand the rules of engagement of I have seven prayers, maybe under 15 minutes, maybe one minute. After that prayer, I will do one-on-one -on -one with those who want to see me. I'll give you a word, a word of prayer, or a prophecy, or a direction as the Spirit leads me. He leave them, and it shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. You will cry out, My Father! My Father! Ah! My father. my father, before we pray that prayer, let's talk to God. The Lord, show me mercy sure. and let the blood of Jesus remit all my sin. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus before we pray that prayer. Lord, show me my sin. Lord, show me my sin and let the blood of Jesus remit all my sin. Show me mercy, Lord, and by the precious blood of Jesus. Let all my sin be remitted. Lord, show me mercy. And by the precious blood of Jesus, let all my sins be remitted. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. It is done. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Para adventure, you are under the sound of my voice. You have not surrendered to Jesus. Let's pray this prayer together right now so that you can be born again. 
so that you can be absorbed adopted by god absorbed into the family of god wherever you are if you have not surrendered to jesus please say this lord jesus come into my heart be my personal lord and savior write my name in your book of life forgive me all my sins send your holy spirit to me in jesus name amen if you pray that prayer you are born again please see a way to connect with us and if you are here under the sound of my voice Please see any of the senior minister before you go. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the first prayer is with a shout. My father, my father. In, your mercy, in your mercy, roll away, roll away. My, reproach. my reproach. That's your first prayer. And please pray. Are we ready to pray? Once I call it, you now face yourself. Am I communicating? You and God, leave everybody alone, please. Roll away my reproach. Roll away my reproach. Ah, mercy. This is mercy altar. Whether you are online, you are on site. We are together. Say, my father. My father. In, your mercy, in your mercy. Tonight. tonight roll away my reproach. God of this mountain, covenant of mercy walking on this ground. Roll away my reproach. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Roll away my reproach, Lord. Roll away my reproach, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. The Lord rolled them away. Amen. Ah, our MI can be a better place. Amen. I say God rolled them away. Amen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you are just coming alive. I say God rolled away our reproach. Amen. I said the Lord rolled away our reproach. Amen. Whatever the enemy has been using to reproach you, this midnight, God rolled them away. Amen. Whatever the enemy has been using to reproach you, that reproach tonight, they are rolled away in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, God rolled away the reproach upon the Israelites. He removed it. He rolled away the reproach of Anna. He rolled away the reproach of Sarah. He rolled away the reproach upon Joshua and his people. He rolled them away. He removed them. That same God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, tonight, He's rolling away all your reproaches in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is done. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the second prayer. My Father. My Father. In your mercy. Intervene. In my matter. So that I will not see. By wretchedness. Amen. Amen. My father, father intervene in, in my situation so that I will not see my wretchedness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. A man, a man's wife has suffered hunger, maybe two days, maybe three days. No food. Am I communicating? Finally, when the guy came, give him small change to go and buy kerosene. Where the man was sitting down, buying down his head, the lady went to eat the, the, the rubber on his head and said, she said, you want to use hunger to kill me. 
That's wretchedness. Amen. That man by himself is seeing his own wretchedness. The woman told her husband, Are you sure God called you? He said, God called her. Where's our children's school? We went to, Are you sure God called you? He said, God called me. Where is our husband? Are you sure God called you? God called me. What are we going to eat? Are you sure? Say, I'm sure. So, what are we going to eat? That's a typical example of someone saying his wretchedness. Moses Christ said, Lord, don't let me see my wretchedness. Don't let me see my wretchedness. How can I bring these people out of Egypt and I'm confused here? Don't let me see my wretchedness. They will ask me for the way. If I don't know the way, why did I go and pick them where they are? Right? Oh, don't let me see my wretched. I want us to cry to God. Lord, speedily intervene on my matter so that I will not see my wretchedness. Lord, speedily intervene on my matter in your mercy before I see, so that I don't see. Are we ready? Say, my father, my father. In your mercy, intervene so that I will not see my wretchedness. Open your mouth and pray for them. Intervene, Lord, so that I will not see my wretchedness. Lord, do not allow me to see my wretchedness. Don't let me see 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 my wretchedness. Intervene, Lord. Intervene, Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Makalirua, Maseka, Limbrakuda, Zerikapolia, Masanda, Makuli, Masedaba, Raba Kaseka. Makuli aina likapoda rabaka sanda lembra kudaga zari kapolia masida intabe 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 Maliga Bora, Rabaka Saka, Maragada Baka Saka, Marabaka Saka, Makulia Sakada, Marobo Kosoko, Marabaka Saka Lika Podia, Reke Poko Seka, Ina Lika Polia Masada, Malem Prakuda, Serika Polia. Failure. Wretchedness is failure, total failure. Wretchedness is when someone lost control, lose control. We will not see our wretchedness. When you see your helplessness, I cannot help situation. That's wretchedness. It's over tonight. Amen. <laughs> You will not be stranded. Amen. I'm not hearing your ear. Can you tap into that grace that is upon my life? I say you will not be stranded. Amen. I'm telling you things that God has done for me. I say you will not be stranded. Amen. When one man say no, another will say yes. Amen. Do you believe? Yes. That's the grace I enjoy. Otherwise, I will not be here. That's the mercy I receive. Otherwise, I will not be here. Please, don't wear slippers here. If you are wearing slippers, remove it. Thank you, Jesus. If anybody is wearing slippers, I don't think there's anybody like that. This is a covenant ground. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We will not see our Amen. We will not see our Amen. This is the third prayer. Lord, give me power against evil dream. Why many life has not moved forward is because of their dream. Bad dream. Bad dream. The enemy depended on it so much. They are banking on it unless he did not sleep. Lord, give me power against the bad dream. Are we ready to pray that prayer? Say, oh God, my father. Give me power against evil dream. Lord, give me power against evil dream. Empower me. 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 Give me power against evil dream. Give me power against evil dream. Give me power, my father. Give me power against evil dream. In the name of Jesus, my father. Give me power against evil dream. My father. Give me power against evil dream. My father. Give me power against evil dream. In the name of Jesus, my father. Give me power against evil dream. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Say, I receive power. That cannot be ought <laughs> through dreams. I receive power <laughs> to become untouchable <laughs> through dreams. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> A man saw himself and they said, Is this special person we are going to share today in our meeting? And it was that man. And they brought cutlass, they put him on table, and they cut him into pieces. And everybody shared his part and went home. As they went home, he was seeing it. The woman that was moderating it, that also took another large part, was the woman that woke out from the dream. Co, 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 co. She woke up, pain all over his body. When she managed to open the door, when the woman saw her, the woman shouted. Because the woman only came to confirm her death, not her living. Yes. But God gave him power. But we need more power than that. That's why I added the two other prayers I added. Power that cannot be ought through dreams. Many people, they have called them to grieve from their dream. They will call their name. Kali Marumba Kasekia. They will answer. A prophet of God, they called somebody, they called him, they, 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 they call your brother. Who called him? They said they called him. He's, he's, he's now, he has lost control of his head. He can, he's bedridden. What happened? They said they called him. He answered from the dream. The prophet went there. You know what he said? He said he didn't do anything wrong. He said when they call people, he should answer. And he changed it. I stand in that prophetic wisdom tonight. Every evil dream worrying you is reversed. <laughs> he said, yes. Yes, he didn't do anything wrong. If they call you, would you answer? He said, yes, don't what is right. Kali Makuli Asaka. He changed it for them. I stand in that prophetic revelation. Every demonic conclusion through dream, every transaction of darkness through dream that is limiting you to now, they are reversed. Yeah. Any call into demotion, into sickness, into poverty, into barrenness that you have answered, I reverse them to Kali Maruba Kasekia. Let fire answer your enemies. Thank you, Father. It is done. It is done. Please rejoice. Rejoice. 
Rejoice. Hallelujah. Yes, rejoice. They call you, you answer. But when you answer, it's fire that we answer. It's power that we answer. It's fire that we answer. They say, man of God, come down. Me, come down. No, I don't go down. He said, if I be a man of God, let fire. Yes. It was fire that went down and consumed them. Every contrary call, turn that we answer for you. Every negative call, turn that we answer for you. Fire, we answer for you. Bullets, we answer for you. Bullets, we answer for you. Sword, we answer them for you. Death, we answer them for you. In the name of Jesus. The prophet said, he didn't do it. He said, my brother, shut up. You didn't do what was wrong. They call you. You know, Satan is a manipulator. He's stupid. Very stupid. Kali Maruba Kasekia. You don't know why Jesus came. He, he came to disgrace Satan. What is holding on to it, he, he render it useless. They are saying, okay, I will die for it. Look for another thing. He can't say anything. Who is he that condemned? It? It's Christ that died. He died alone. He rose alone. They didn't help him to rise. Nobody helped him. I was sharing the revelation in Ibadan. The angel that rose stone, they didn't roll it for Jesus. He has already left. They rolled it for Mary and others to, so that they can enter and see the resurrected Lord. They didn't help him. He said, I have my life. I lay it down. I take it up. Over. It is Christ. Somebody celebrate Jesus in this. Amen. Thank you. If they try to call you next, they will regret it. Amen. They went to call a man of God, great man of God. The first time they gather, they called his name. A rock appear. They went to. No, that same day. They called him again instead of him to appear. Rock appear again. One of them that was wise. <laughs> he said, This is still the time we are to call this man. We have called twice. <laughs> it's rock that appear. Don't let us take the risk. <laughs> when they didn't listen to him, he excused himself. That was how we knew what. The rest. The next time they rock, it was fire and rock. They all lost their life. They lose their life. Anyone calling you to death, death will answer them. Anyone calling you into poverty, poverty will answer them. Whatever law they have prepared for your head, they will carry it by themselves. In the name of Jesus, yes, you must have power. Are you? Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. You must have power because of your enemy. I don't want to go deeper. I'm online. Someone told me, "Say he, he did what is wrong, and I made him to suffer, and he suffered because the person did not have power. He suffered. You know how many men that are stone useless because they offended their wife. What happened to those men? They are not powerful." They don't have power. A prophet told me, he said, a senior prophet saw a visa and passport in his hand. I said, why didn't you tell me? You didn't tell me. I got angry. The passport and the visa expired. He didn't have power. When you don't have the power of God, people do what they like with your life. Yes. Yes. You must have power. And that is why they say when a strong man keep his house, his goods are kept yes, sir. until a stronger man comes. That is why when you are fighting with somebody who is stronger than you, stop fighting. Run to the person that can fight the person for you. That's what killed this mobile. He, he was fighting with people that are stronger than When there are people that will help him fight till he wastes his life. 
Hallelujah. Are we still together? Tonight, all the negative call that you have answered, they are reversed tonight. I said they are reversed tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I think we have prayed four prayers already. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who will take the next prayer? Who will take the next prayer? Say, living water. Healing water. Is the same. Oh? That's Jesus Christ. From the throne of God. Wash me thoroughly. Wash away all the excreta in my body. Everything in my life. Causing rejection. Everything in my life. That is smelly. Everything in my life. Causing irritation. Living water. Healing water. Lord of Jesus. Wash them away. Open your mouth. Wash them away. Every excreta, every dirtiness, irritation, pollution, smell, whatever stain in my body, spirit, soul, and body, let the living water from the throne of grace. Let the healing water, let the blood of Jesus shower me now. Wash me totally. Wash them away. 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 By your mercy. Oh God, my Father, let the healing water, let the living water, let the blood of Jesus come and wash me thoroughly. Wash away every excreta, every smell, every pollution, anything in my life causing smell, causing irritation, causing rejection. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Malika Bolia, every dirtiness, every stain, every excreta, every pollution, whatever that is in my life, causing irritation and rejection, everything in my life that is making people to avoid to reject blood of Jesus. Healing water, living water, wash them away, wash them away, wash them away, wash them away, wash them away. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It is done. Amen. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Tell him more prayers. A brother had issue. And when they introduced that brother to me, it was that scripture that I want to use for you, I use for him. Very terrible issue. They want to imprison him. It. It's like the issue that sent this guy to six months. He didn't have a prophet. People don't have profit. They are living in risk. Yes. Because the Bible says, believe the Lord your God and you will be established. Then believe his prophet and you will prosper. People don't have a prophet they believe. They are in trouble. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we pray those prayers. We crown to God because it will go a long way. That's the last three prayers we pray before we share the grace. Oh God of heaven and the earth, 
Justify me. Justify me. Are you hearing me? Before you can be condemned, before you can be judged, you must have been condemned. You can't suffer for anything you have not been judged for. Amen. And sometimes the Bible calls some people lawful captives. They are suffering for what they have done, for what their father has done. So that is why you need justification. To them that he called, he also justified. Because you have answered the call tonight, you will be justified. Yes? I don't care. That case was tough. I don't want to go deeper. This online. And God won the case. God won it. What is it that this God, a brother called me, he was an EFCC officer. He had the issue. And we prayed. God showed the mercy. It's not a common thing. They called him in. They said, don't do it again. Go. It's not normal for that department. He would have suffered. But he, said, he escaped it. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray. Do you understand me? Yes. They might have judged you. You may even be the one that is faulty. But the God that I serve will justify you tonight. Yes. <laughs> yes. In the name of Jesus. You will cry unto God. Oh God of heaven and the earth. Oh God. Let me see where is they want to take your case. Is God there? Oh God of heaven and the earth. Oh in your mercy because of jesus and the blood that he shed justify me in all ramification can you pray it now can you pray it are we ready i will call it once i beg you to pray oh god of heaven and the earth Oh God of heaven and the earth, in your mercy, because of the blood, because of Jesus, justify me, justify me. Open your To them that he called, he justified. Maliba Kuria, Zekedebo, Legedebo, Legedebo Kolegada, Ragada Bakasakada, Malebra da 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 da, Maseri Kapolia Masida. Justify me, Lord. Justify me, Lord. Justify me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me, the judge of heaven and the earth. Justify me, justify me, justify me, justify me. In Jesus, my name we pray. That adulterous woman, the mistake is our enemy made was to take her to Jesus. If they have taken her to any of the priests, she would have died at it. If they have taken her to the temple, she would have died. At it. If they have taken her to even Roman officer, she would have died. At it. But the mistake they made was to take her to Jesus. The justifier. 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 God will show you mercy tonight. Amen. He will justify you by mercy. Amen. 
Yes, it's not by argument. Yes, it is not of him that will, yes. not of him that run, but of God that shall mercy. God will justify you tonight. Yeah. Everywhere you have been condemned, everywhere you have been cursed, everywhere you have been judged, tonight you are justified. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Once you are justified, you will be glorified. Amen. You will now crown to God. That's the second prayer. Oh God, my Father, glorify me. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Glorify me. 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 In the name of Jesus, my Father. Glorify me, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me in the name of Jesus. My heavenly father, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me, glorify me to them that he justify, he glorify. Glorify me, 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 glorify me in Jesus. Finally, magnify me. Lord, magnify me. Lord, magnify me. Magnify me. The Lord magnify Joseph. Joshua, in the eyes of the Israelites, Lord magnify me, Lord magnify me, Lord magnify me, by your mercy tonight, magnify me, 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 magnify me. Magnify me, magnify me, magnify me, magnify me, magnify me, my labor rocodo, my seke de bocode, my lebra da 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 da, raga da pacasa, raga da pacalaga, raga da pacalaga, raga da pacasa, raga da pacalaga, raga da pacalaga, raga da pacalaga, raga da pacalaga. Raga da baka saka da, raga da baka laga da, malege de boko seka da, malege de boko seka da, mali aga da baka da, maraga da baka saka da, maraga da baka saka da, maraga da baka saka da. In Jesus' name, we pray. You need to stand on your feet to receive this. Now we are rounding up. Wherever you are, stand on your feet. John chapter two. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. John chapter 2, verse 11. This beginning of miracles did Jesus. This beginning of miracle did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believe it. That is what shocked me there. His disciples. These disciples believe him. Are you hearing me? Are we sitting together? Yes. Who believed him until that thing happened? And they have been following him. This beginning, the miracles. Amen. This beginning of miracles did Jesus. And what is this miracle that makes people to believe? Is he, open, he has opened eyes of blind or but they still until he went to. You see, there are some glory and make people, there are some physical achievement before people believe. You need to achieve some things physically for some people that are close, not people that are far to believe that are close. His disciples, not outsiders, his disciples until they are now sure that we cannot be angry with this man. <laughs> ah, we are in a safe place. So. 
if you can't do what that, what did you do with me? We are saved. We are saved. Is it open eyes we are looking at? Yeah, we are talking of stomach. We are talking of our children's school fees. Are we going to pay? Now we know that if you can turn water to one, we don't have a problem. They now believe you will break through. Nothing yes. silence people than Nashime. Yes, he silence mockers. It makes people to believe you have a God. You can pray, they will still not believe. You are healing the sick, they, but when you buy it, they will believe. <laughs> yes, uh, when you say you are doing house warming, they, they will not believe. They will not, they, they have known you, but they need to see your glory. He manifested forth his glory. This beginning from today, the beginning of miracles in your life starts. I say from this night forward, beginning of miracles in your life starts. Miracles start in your life. Miracle starts in your life. Hey. Miracle starts in your life. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. He manifested forth his glory. He manifested forth his glory. Your glory will be made manifest. Hey. So that those who are very close to you can believe. So shall live it. We seal it by the covenant of mercy on this mercy ground. And we pray that all the blessings we have received tonight, they are irreversible. They are irrevocable. They will stand forever. They will testify in the name of Jesus. Please note, our vision should only increase and not decrease. Whether I'm around or not. Amen. If I'm not on site, I'll be online. And if I'm in the presence of God that I cannot even be online, somebody will be here. And I've taught you, God is here. Amen. Amen. God is here. God will always be here. This place belongs to him. Don't say hey, who is ministering. No, I'm a body that minister, minister unto the Lord. They didn't minister by themselves. They minister unto them. So overcome all the obstacles. Please be mature. Become matured Christians so that you can have permanent solutions. A lot of people said they will be here. This is some. The grace was not released, but God will show their mercy. <laughs> but you that you are here, by this time next Friday, you are coming with testimony. <laughs> you are coming with laughter. <laughs> yes, you are coming with laughter. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your story will change for better. Amen. The Bible says this beginning of miracle did Jesus in Cana. In this territory, your miracle begins. Amen. Where you are living from that place, your miracle begins. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Before I got married, I was staying in one room self-contained. And a lady also single, staying in one room, self-contained. We are the only two people at the back, four flats in our front. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the, all the generator of the four flat was beside us. And our generator also was there. So six generators beside us. Our, our room was at the back. My was beside the generator. Go, 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 go. That was when I knew the voice of different kind of generator, whether you are Yamaha, whether you are Tiger. Once they start it, I know the one that has just started. <laughs> I will be praying. I will put two pillows in my ear. I will, be, I will still be here. I will be shouting. And the day I was embarrassed, not the generator, but my, my other person that we are suffering together. She came. She said, "Ah, your prayer is disturbing us. Your prayer is disturbing me. I say, ah, ha, ha. I open my mouth. He say, I should be con I say, ah, ha, ha. He say, your prayer is disturbing. What is ah? I say, ah, I was doing it like this. I was perplexed. I say, ah. <laughs> say, generator did not disturb you. Ah. 
you know i was what happened he has seen prayer he has not seen glory people will see your glory hey! do you understand he has, she has seen prayer no glory she has seen holiness no glory she has seen bible no glory she has seen you going to church yet to see your glory your glory we manifest. Hey, hey. Hey. Then I cannot remember that day I rushed to a door and I knock. I say, I'm leaving. He said, Ah, is it that no rent? I said, No. I just rented two bedroom, three bedroom, not two, three bedroom apartment. So I just rented three bedroom apartment. So that's why I'm going. So that generator can, so that no prayer will disturb her again. Yes, Only generator can. It was there she believed. Emma by draft one. Then we see your glory. Until your glory manifests. Your dis even your disciples will not believe. Nobody is a friend of a poor person. Even Jesus was not believed until wine started flowing. I'm telling you, human being. Human being is still human being. We have not changed. We still have two eyes. Hallelujah. From that same house, before you come out, you will have miracles. Hey! If you don't have miracles, how will those people trace you when they need Jesus? Am I communicating? How will they trace you when they need Jesus? Those mocking you today. If you don't have miracle before you leave that place, so the Bible said this is the beginning of miracles of Jesus in Cana from that place, the miracle started. So that when they went to Judea, Samaria, they started looking for because they have had what he did in Cana. They know he can do it somewhere else. Your miracle begin from this now, from that same house. Amen. Do we have miracle? Amen. When we were in Okofila, I told them that we are not leaving this place without a miracle because the trouble you start, you run from from your village will pursue you. You run from trouble in village, they will pursue you to Lagos. You run from Lagos to UK, the trouble will still pursue you to UK unless you win that battle in the village. You can't win the battle in this. Your miracle begins tonight. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, power to manifest your glory. Jesus said, The same glory that I have with you from the foundation of the earth, you have glory with God from the foundation of the earth. God told Jeremiah, He said, Before I formed you, I know you, I know you will be a prophet. Even before you were, you, before your father and mother meet each other, I know you that you will be a prophet. Now your glory begin to manifest. <laughs> It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. You will not be in darkness. Amen. You will not crawl in darkness. Amen. You will not walk in darkness. Amen. Every other light you need for your manifestation to speed up, God will give you. Amen. The Holy Spirit will do beyond what I have done here. And make sure you have testimony. Amen. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget, next week is our uh, rounding up of 100 days. And we are rounding out with 124 uh, hours sprays. We have never done it that long. We are we did 12 hours, but we are doing 24 hours. It's long, but it's worth it. You will see what the Lord will do. So we are launching out with 24 hours. Even if you will reveal, refresh, and what release, even if you are tired, sleep, be hearing that songs, the whole atmosphere will be charged. Praising God. You know the angels that will come down. That we follow God because it's God that inhabit the praises of His people. And what do we have when we do that till evening? Then by the time we wake up, we wake up to go and march for Jesus. We come back to revival in the evening. Then Sunday is Evangelica. Then evening is Holy Spirit. It's going to be also from Thursday next week. So on Sunday is when we have the final planning. The final planning, amen. This Sunday, so please don't miss it. That's tomorrow. This is already Saturday. Tomorrow, don't miss church. I beg you. And everyone that knows anyone, any of our co worshipers, 
visit them, touch them, call them, and invite them. And they should not miss it. And God will bless you. In Jesus' name. As we go home, I pray that the presence of God will go with you. I encourage you to give your offering. And if you want to support special work, make things much more easier, place an offering on the altar there. Put a bell on it. Amen. For fuel, for other things. This program I want to do now will need close to between 70 to 100 liters. Amen. The Lord will surprise you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So give your offering and God will remember you. I pray for us that heaven should remain open. Amen. God will justify you. Amen. We glorify you. Amen. We magnify you. Amen. He will empower you to to bring to manifest your glory Amen. so that people can believe. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, Amen. I am grateful. I believe that I have received and I know that I will have all my heart desire after this vision in Jesus' name. Everyone online, God bless you. Remain connected. See you soon. Make sure wherever you are that you join us uh, for the next week program from Thursday to Sunday. It's going to be awesome. Provision will be on the mountain by God's grace for everyone camping. Glory to God in your eyes. Shall we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. This meeting is filled with revelation and powers. You can always go to our YouTube to listen to it again and again. And to pray along. You can do personal vigil with this program in your house. So don't be ignorant. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We are going to shout 12 powerful hallelujah. Then after that, we're going to add six to it. So simultaneously, we are shouting 18 hallelujah. It's prophetic. 10 is responsibilities. 8 is what? It's new beginning. Then when we break it 12 by 6, 12 is covenant. 6 is the number of man. You will have dominion. Whichever way it is interpreted, you are in charge in Jesus name 18 powerful hallelujah shall we go hallelujah 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 amen it is done god bless you in jesus name celebrate jesus thank you jesus. so those who want to see me please just come to the back there everyone just come register see the minister and come to the back